Hi everyone, this is Erin Stelter and this is my week one ethnography report discussion for COM 3613. My four terms this week were cultural capital, colonialism, ethics, and dialogical approach. And um, the term I'm going to discuss this week is colonialism. Um, it's one that many of us are familiar with. Uh, some of us even discussed it in our last class in uh, reference to comic books. And so that was pretty interesting. Um, but the references that I'm going to, that I pulled my information from were the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Philosophy, sorry, and Colonialism and Culture, which was edited by N.B. Jerks. And I'll put that information in my post below this. Um, but the definition for colonialism is a practice of domination which involves the subjugation of one people to another. Um, and the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy also points out that the term imperialism is often used interchangeably with colonialism. And in Dirk's book, he points out that colonialism has, um, besides its historical definition, it's also become a trope for domination and violation. Um, and so another thing that he points out is um, despite this domination and violation, um, culture has become interdependent on colonialism for kind of its growth and development. And he makes it very clear that that is not an excuse for colonialism, um, which, you know, was a negative experience for most of those that were colonized. But throughout history, um, different cultures have grown and developed and changed um, through the act of colonialism, where the colonized and the colonizer um, take different aspects of each other's cultures, such as food, language, clothing, that sort of thing. Um, and take those on for their own, and then their cultures are changed from that point forward. So um, that's it for now, and I look forward to watching your videos, and I hope everyone's having a great week. Thank you. Bye.